Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel, man. So, today, we actually had an engine go pop up a couple days ago. Uh, check engine light, check service engine. And it's all because of, I don't know if you can see them right here, but airflow sensors have decided they need to be cleaned. So you got one here, and one right there. Alrighty, so you have on each airflow sensor. Okay, these have two, at least for the 370s. There's a bolt here. And the other bolt is actually right there, and that's on both sides. Now, what I found works, <clears throat> ratchet and a 7mm socket. And let me take them off and get back. Alright, so next up <clears throat> is, each one of them has this, which is the actual connector to the engine right here. Now, they have this clip on the side, on this side right there. And that actually clips into the thing. Now, it's going to be a little hard to get off, okay? But, you push down right here, you push down pretty hard, and just wiggle and pull. <clears throat> Once you've done that to this side right here, I just put them off to the side so you see them. There, and there. <clears throat> then all you got left is to get the four 7mm bolts like that out, and you're good. So already, once you got all four bolts out, these airflow sensors are going to drop down. They come right out of here, and right out of there. Okay, now, for cleaning them, of course you don't want to get them mixed up. So this is the right one, this is the left one of mine. And they're both in the same hand, so... Set them down. Okay. Now that is exactly where we want to spread stuff. Now I was told, how they got doing it. This is stuff you need right here. Mass airflow sensor cleaner. Alright, and then you just, apparently just... Now, you let it. Now, once you sprayed all of this, that, and this little area on the back, on both of them, on both of them, let them dry. So, I'm gonna so just get them out of that liquid, shake them off a little bit, and then sit them down. You know, same thing over here, just sit them down. Alright, and then we'll come back. The guy said probably about an hour. You have about an hour time. And we'll come back and we'll. And the check engine light did go off. So. That's no big deal. But the whole thing that gets it is. They need to be done. So why not do it? So we're doing it today. Um, hopefully, that'll make everything run better. They also said cleaning them gives it a better sound and more horsepower. So. More horsepower is always better. And I will see you guys in exactly an hour time. So now that we have both sensors cleaned and dried, we got them back on the sides they belong, left, right. Now you gotta do, if you get them mixed up, it's not that big of a deal as long as you got your intake things on the right side. Because like the holes for this side, the, the left bolt is up top and the right bolt is down bottom. Of course on this side, the uh, same thing on this side. But like if I try to put this one I think. Okay, so don't get it mixed up. I'm not sure where the arrow is. I mean, there's. I don't see an arrow on here. Um, I swear I do remember there being an arrow last time. But try not to get them confused. I didn't, for example. But we'll we'll get back to it as soon as I install these too. We'll put them back in and we'll start the car. Up. As for the moment of truth. So we actually got both that bolted in. That's bolted back up. That's bolted back up. Moment of truth. Will she start? Will she? Huh? Right. Will she? No lights. All right, door open. That's okay. That means the door's open. No lights. All good. Let's check outside again. What's up? Everything looks like it's running right. In case. Good. Good. 
Yeah, everything looks like it's running right, so job complete. 